the youth here has been critical to this revolution. A lot of people here call it uh, the revolution of the youth. Uh, while the, you know they, they first took to the streets, but they were joined by all Egyptians eventually. And they are really taking some of the boldest steps uh, in this uprising uh, going forward. And what, what, what they have done is uh, I'm holding in my hand here uh, the first edition of a newspaper that's called uh, a gurnal, uh, which just means newspaper in Egyptian Arabic. It just means journal. Uh, it's kind of our word for it. And it's they have printed it. In, they're distributing it online. They're, it's basically voices of protesters. Uh, and it also has a list of, of the martyrs in the back of people killed in the revolution. But the reason that they are also printing it in addition to putting it online is intentionally to break Egyptian law, which bars the uh, printing and distributing of newspapers uh, to um, uh, without without permission. So this is uh, Sana El Saif. She's a high school student, and, and I spoke to her about this paper. My name is Sana. I'm 17. I'm in my last high school year. Uh, we thought that. Uh, Right now is the very it's, it's the perf perfect timing to push the borders of freedom uh, further. So we thought, mm, why not? Let's make a newspaper and let's not get permissions for that. Let's just let's just sell it in the streets. Um, it's, it's a very symbolic thing. We we are not counting on it. We we don't have like a big budget or anything, but we want to we want to um, force. This we want to have um, like uh, the freedom of expression. We want to force for further. So usually you have to get permission to print a newspaper in Egypt. Yeah, I think that's that's the first time this will happen. So we'll see. And what kind of paper is it? Describe it. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, we uh, okay. It's, it's called uh, Voices of Tahrir, Voices of Liberation. And um, well, uh, we thought that the per the first uh, copy uh, has to be like well, each one of us after this experience of the revolution has something to say. So we called everybody we know. Uh, we called uh, people from Tahrir Square, people from Alexandria, uh, people who who ha have been there doing something in this revolution, and everybody wrote something. And we're, we're just going to, it's like a blog. That's the first copy. Uh, other than that, that's, that's an open space for people. And other than that, there is our opinion. We have a Facebook page, and we are a group of uh, uh, young people. We want to say our demands. We have stuff that we want to say. So there is an open space for anybody to write in it. And there is our space to write. And, um, well, later on, we think, well, it will be mainly, let's talk about what we want to do next, how we want to see Egypt uh, later on. And why do you think it's important to do this now? Uh, I think it's important to express this. It's always important, and I think it's very important for us to communicate. But I know the internet is enough. Um, as I said before, the, the newspaper is very symbolic because we want to have this right. We want to make newspapers and sell them. That's it. And what's the role, do you think, of you're, you're in your last year of high school, a lot of people have been working in this space, this activist space, are very young. Uh, what, what has been the role of the youth in this uprising? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, it all starts with an event, and we kind of told our friends and everything, and somehow it got bigger and bigger, and we, we realized that we have a, we have a very effective tool that we didn't we we didn't realize that until it all flamed kind of so that's when we thought well well we can actually do something we have tools and we can do it and uh, well we've done it while, while the grown-ups didn't so we can actually do that so that's when I, we got involved and started thinking of other things to do and did you, did you ever imagine that this would happen no, not at all. I mean, it was a joke. I mean, people ask me, what are you going to do on the 25th? And I was like, yeah, I have a revolution. I'm not. I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was amazing. It, it was a perfect timing, actually. Uh, I am uh, Zieb Tarek. <coughs> I, uh, I'm 20 years old. And uh, this publication that we started, it's, uh, our aim is, first of all, since, since this is a revolution and 
now there is no certain law on the, um, the journalism or anything. So we were thinking that we should break break all of the um, uh, things that w yani things that were put by the other uh, by the former by the former system, mm -hmm. and to break it in order to create a new uh, place for freedom of speech, absolute freedom of speech without any agendas, without any uh, certain ideologies. We we would welcome anyone to write in this newspaper online and in the typed uh, version. So, so what's the newspaper called? Aswat al Tahrir, which is the Tahrir Voices. Right? Mm. And why did you feel it was important to get people's voices out like that? Because uh, the international media, other than the, the Egyptian media was saying nothing close to the truth. Nothing, absolutely. And the international media also, you know, they were saying most of the things, they, they were documenting most of the things that are happening, but at the same time, sometimes they exaggerate in order to let the people, you know. So we were trying just to tell the truth that we don't want any, anyone to say or control how we're trying to uh, operate this. I mean, we're not operating the revolution, but somehow we're in it and we, 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 we felt that we have to contribute in order to say no this is these are we're fighting for th these principles then we have to abide by it like so f for example that journals uh, any that newspapers for freedom of speech we were fighting that those days for freedom yeah. what did your what did your family and your parents and everything think of everything that was going on well my mother was very excited She's, she came a lot of times to the square, but she leaves at night before the curfew. Uh, but my father, yeah, he didn't like it at all because he works with them. So what do you mean? <laughs> he's, uh, he's a, a member in the, in the NDP, in the National Democratic Party. He's, he talks uh, on TV on their tongue, or something like that. Mutahadis uh, Rasmi. So, so your dad is right. So your dad works in the NDP, and you're and he's also the chief editor in chief of Al Ahram Al Masai newspaper, uh -huh. which is a governmental newspaper. So, yeah, he was totally against that, and I just did it because it's the right thing to do. So your dad is editor in chief of the government newspaper, and you are starting a newspaper, yeah. Voices of the <laughs> Protesters of the Government. Yeah. <laughs> how does how does he feel about that? I don't know. Uh, we haven't talked much. Oh. Unless, yeah, we stopped talking to each other. <laughs>